Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, which means it's time for a mail call. Uh, up first, it's something from Gary Wickwire. Thank you, Gary. Envelope, envelopes are always good because envelopes usually mean boxes and I love a good box. Nice heavy cardboard supports here. Looks good. All right. Look at that baby. Looks really nice. This is a uh, pretty near mint. Matchbox number 70. A uh, grit spreading truck. Um, really beautiful shape on that one. So. Awfully excited to have that. And I think, and I've got four or five of these things, and I've got a few that don't have a box, so I'll have to look through my sets and see what is in the best shape and would pair well with a, a really nice condition box. So, awesome, excited about that. Up next is from Tim Sheldon. Thank you, Tim. A few more boxes. All right. Really well wrapped. Beautiful. That is a original number 74 SO Extra Petrol Bus. And this is with the model as well. I'm curious about these. These look really, really good online. If not mint, awful near mint. Oh, that's mint. That is beautiful. Nice paint. No chips, no scratches. Decal looks flawless. Very happy with that. Super excited. I think out of all the different colors these buses came in, they came in a green, a white, and a red. Red is the only one that I didn't have yet. So. That actually completes my bus collection, so super excited about that. And this is a twofer. I know I've said this before in my other mailbags, but one of the most expensive parts of signing these and ordering these is having them shipped. You know, I might spend six or eight bucks on a model and then spend another six or eight bucks to have it sent to me. So anytime I can buy multiples to help me save on the shipping cost, I try to do that. And I think I remember this one. So this is an absolutely mint box. This looks like it's never probably even been played with, never, maybe never even made it out of the store. Um, that box is perfect and crisp. And then this is what I was really excited about with this particular model. Again, I've got a few of these. Um, some probably in need of a restoration. Um, and it seems like with this particular model, it's always really difficult to find the box intact. Um, these were often broken or down the side. It seemed since this piece was plastic and because it sticks out past the regular body of the car, I think these got stepped on a lot. Um, I've seen them crack where this little piece is at the top. Those are often broken um, or it's missing this rear gate. Um, 
this one is absolutely perfect mint and this was the reason I got this model so this has both of the cows still on the sprue look at that it doesn't get any more mint than this set so very very excited to have this piece in my collection so those were both awesome finds um, thank you very much Tim love having those in my collection up next uh, Kevin Cagle Here from Kevin another bus so this is a this is the older version on this variation so this is also a matchbox number five root master um, you see the decals are a little worn on this one we've got some paint wear and chips on the top but not a bad find and like I said before I had a lot of these red ones I was missing. Um, I've got quite a few of the, the green and the white. Um, and I don't have this variation either. Another thing to look for in these is uh, the interior plastics. And that's one of the, the variants in this model. So very excited to have that one as well. Up next, this one is from, who's this from? Online antiques. Oh, okay. So I got this one specifically to do a restoration on. Um, this is actually one of the cars that I have have restored. Um, I didn't do video when I restored this car. I do have some of the before pictures. It was an overpaint with an oil-based overpaint. Um, and I did a full restoration on that and I have not been able to come across a box. And I found this box. Uh, it's, it's an original. This flap has some issues. Uh, it has the inner flaps and it's missing an end flap here. So much like I've done on the GT and some of uh, my other videos, haven't gone out yet um, I'm gonna do an end flap restoration complete box restoration on this to go with the car uh, that I've already restored and when I shoot that I will uh, update the the pictures and the video to show the car as well so watch for that in an upcoming restoration next this is from Mark Saxby I think this is one of the Volkswagen vans. Yes. So this is another up for restoration. This is a number 34 uh, Volkswagen Caravette. Um, you can see this one is missing the doors and I have ordered um, a set of reproduction replacement doors um, I was also able to find I think it's a right side an original door um, so I may restore this with the reproductions I may do an original and a reproduction um, we'll see how they fit but not a bad find, a few uh, scratches on the top. I got a little crack in the back. Um, and I know I can order replacements for the plastics, but I wanted to try to do a restoration uh, on this one as well. So this is another one to watch for in a future restoration video. And then last for today, this one is from Frank. Wally. Bailey Wally. I don't know what to think about this because <laughs> this is some uh, some interesting packaging. Uh, 
Okay. So these two, these two were part of a lot. Um, there was a few cars that were available. And these were just dirt cheap. Um, I think I paid a dollar or two dollars a piece for these. Um, and they were in a, of a buy it now uh, version. Um, the reason I got both of these models is these are the silver wheel models. Um, and you can see these are really rough. These will both be candidates for a uh, restoration. Um, but a lot of times, like this one, for instance, um, I've got two or three of these already, but I don't have a silverware, silver wheel model. I've got the black plastic, um, and I've got a gray plastic. So to have one that is the silver wheel um, will complete my set for that. You can see this one's, it's got a little bend there in the casting we may have to fix. Um, see the end of this is crushed and out of square as well as, as missing the, the end piece. Um, so this would be a really challenging restoration, but um, one that I'll probably attempt. And then the, uh, the builder supply truck here. Um, this is a Morris number 12 pickup. Um, this will also be a restoration. So um, anytime I can find these, even when they're rough shape, if I can pick them up for a buck or two bucks, um, pretty inexpensive, I, I always try to grab those. Um, and it may be, you know, a lot of times if something's too far gone, but I can salvage the wheels and the axles and you know, complete maybe another model that has a better casting. Um, a lot of times I'll buy stuff just for parts. So we'll see on these. I think this one for sure, I'll do a restoration. This one maybe I'll restore, maybe this will be just a parts car. Mm -hmm.